hard to get used to this uh, twitchy throttle. Holy shit! So much sensitivity after an oil change. Good criminy. Damn. What is up, people of the internet? It's your boy Mono Monkey here. Bring you a very rough moto vlog because <laughs> I changed my oil and now all of a sudden my throttle response is absolutely ridiculously through the roof and bringing you me not being able to see through my mirrors god damn it <laughs> anyways what have I been up to lately? ah, uh, nothing much nothing much just been playing a lot of video games Got myself a GTX 970 SSC. Yeah. SSC. Super, super quiet. It's like a place of Mad Max. It's freaking awesome. Freaking awesome game. pretty sweet it's just I wanted them angled down but unfortunately the design has a kind of a fixed design to where you can't really prop it up so right now I'm pretty much riding blind right now oops it's all good Luckily the hard parts the hard parts over is getting these freaking things to stay into the handlebars because I have the 7 8 inch handlebars, the hollow handlebars, and then you have these like uh, kind of expandable adapters to stay. You. And you have to get it just situated to where it catches, but you want it to be able to insert into the handlebar quite a little a little ways away inside not away inside the handlebar itself and not catch at the beginning of the handlebar as you insert it it's a freaking pain changed the oil and did that also i i was uh thinking oh yeah i put some sound in there because i have stereo in my car and use that on the motorcycle to try and get rid of some vibrations in my butt that I'm experiencing in the highway. Well, that was a goopy mess. And so, please let me go, please let me go, thank you. Goopy mess, so I was taking some like engine degreaser, or not engine degreaser, like chain degreaser, I don't know, some DuPont degreaser, safe on chains, but anyways, spraying that shit on there and trying to loosen up the goopy stuff, which the sound denner material becomes goopy and just ugly, yucky stuff, I mean just gross. Not a good time. Oh, jeez. You really had a park there? Oh, I can tilt it up. Cool. That makes life... That... Now that I tilted it up, it's good. Alright. I think I can get away with it. Man, this 
thing. This thing has torque after I changed the oil. I waited uh, six months, which is the maintenance interval, changing the oil. Boy, Ivan's kit. Man, this thing came al comes alive. It's the first time riding it after getting my oil changed. Wow, it spins so fast. Anyways, where was I? I forget. Twitchy throttle. Ah, shit, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to get a haircut. Gonna get my foo on. Yeah, buddy. And, uh, that's about it. Oh, yeah, the goopy stuff, yeah. I'll get back to it later. Alright, here we go. Alrighty, let's get out of here. So I got some push pins. We'll see if they even we'll see if they were up to the task. So what I'm doing is SV has these seat side panels that cover like the main fuse and stuff like that. It's the beauty panels. So I'm gonna do takes the power grip tape, make velcro a bit stronger, and take these push pins instead of screws, use that, and should be good to go. So, that is the madness behind the push pins, the, the beauty, the trim, trim panel pieces. Oh gosh, the, uh, my earplug is just, just not, uh. Not rubbing my ear right it is kind of not very comfortable. Getting more used to the throttle. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Just need to work on my slow maneuvering. I can't one hand this. It's way too bumpy. Oh, this is 
this thing is, bud.